Tuesday's technology tip. Today we have Erin McNeil, the media specialist from Campobello Gremlin School, and she's going to share Discus with us. So welcome, Erin. Thank you for having me. So she is going to give us an overview of Discus, which is the South Carolina Virtual Library, or maybe I should call it the Information Place uh, for South Carolinians. So first of all, Erin, what does Discus stand for? Discus stands for a Digital Information for South Carolina Users. Okay. And is it available for anyone? Yes, ma'am. It is free access to South Carolina residents and is available 24-7. It's an electronic library. Okay. And so no cost? No cost to South Carolina residents. And how can users uh, gain access to Discus? So at school, it automatically connects free. And at home, students can access a username and password through from their media specialist who can give them that information. Okay, and so uh, as far as our students using Discus, is would you say it's safe? Discus is an incredibly safe, incredible resource that's available to all of our students with a variety of different formats. Okay, so you said that it is an electronic library. So yes. what do you mean by that? Um, there is There are electronic resources on there that array a format from books and magazines to maps and videos. Um, this collection of data values database provides high quality publications in an easy to navigate format okay. that is easy for students and teachers. Okay, so at this time Erin is going to do a tutorial for us and give us a broad overview of Discus and then there is a section called Novelist and so she's going to go into more detail about that part. Discus is the virtual library brought to us by the South Carolina Library. It is a free resource available to all South Carolinians. If you are accessing this from school, it should connect, connect automatically. If you are accessing it from home, then you will have to use the password and username provided by your library media specialist. This resource is a great tool in teaching students about credible resources when doing research. From the toolbar at the top, you can see there are several different ways that you can navigate through the virtual library. First is through the A to Z resources, where you can see all of the different databases provided through SC Discus. Next, you can search by grade level. This is very appropriate when you are teaching students to do research and finding materials at their just right level. There are databases for early childhood, for elementary that are geared towards their age group as well for middle and high school. If you're looking at the biography and context, which is one tool in the Discus library, you can automatically download your information into Google Drive. So in Biography and Context, if you sign in with Google, it will download your articles that you find into a folder in Google Drive. That way you can access them again quickly. It will put them into a Google Doc for annotation and note taking. Another resource that I love with SE Discus that is sometimes overlooked is Novel List K8 through Plus. This resource provides information on a number of books that are geared towards different age groups. It is divided out by teens ages 9 to 12 and ages 0 through 8. And as it first comes up, you can see I'm in the mood for books that are, and it gives you some different topics. You can browse over here by fiction and nonfiction on your left hand side toolbar and by different genres. And those genres, once again, are broken down and divided into age groups. One thing that I really love uh, that Novelist does is it lets you find books that have read-alikes. So if I come up to the search bar, I can search a title that my kids love and find results that are similar to those. Once I click on the title, I can get a lot of different information about the novel with the author, the interest level, the reading levels, 
um, the genre. I can also get book reviews from credible sources. And then on the right hand side, I can get a list of books that are read-alikes that have either similar characters, similar humor, similar genres. Another thing with novelists is that I can save my list that I create. I can email them and I can print them. I can also look under quick links for books to movies, books that are related to my Common Core, um, to Common Core or to our curricular connections. Grab and go lists that are provided for certain topics. Say you were searching the World War II and you wanted picture books that are revolve around World War II. You could go to that section and find those, as well as picture book extenders if you were teaching lessons on using a mentor text. You can also look up award winners and search by different award winning books in different age brackets as well. Novelist is a great resource for school librarians as well as classroom teachers when you want to encourage a love of reading and help the students find that just right book or just right topic that's going to encourage them and help them become lifelong readers. I hope that you will take a minute to explore Novelist and the other databases that are brought to you by SC Discus in our South Carolina State Library, and I hope you have a good evening. So thank you for sharing with us thank today, Erin. I feel like this is a very beneficial resource. Yes, ma'am. And if anyone has any questions, they can feel free to contact me or they can see their media specialist at their school. So please do that. See your media specialist if you have any questions or reach out to Erin. Um, this has been around for quite some time, but sometimes tools like this we need to kind of revisit um, because they're always being updated and are very good uh, resources. So as always, we hope you have a great week.